Hi Warthog Princess and welcome to another What's In My Bag video. This one is the short version that no kidding just goes through what is in my bag. If you're interested in the transition process and all of the other accessories and things that I went through to get here, I'll put that video right here for you so that you can go back and watch that um, if you want. It's a long one, that was like 48 minutes. So, Anyway, here's the short version of what I have put together for now. This is the first time for me using my scuttle style from Lug. This one is in Peacock Emerald, which is a beautiful peacock pattern. And the blues and teals, it has the no slip grip on the top. The straps do lay flat when you're using the crossbody strap that is removable and adjustable as well. Um, I do love a crossbody option, but I do also like having the straps to grab. So I don't mind that these don't come off because I do switch back and forth pretty often, um, especially getting in and out of the vehicle and trying to be hands-free when I'm out and about. But on here, I've added a couple of bag charm, uh, functional bag charms. The first is this little tote with a turtle on it. This is a nylon one from Vera Bradley. Um, I think this came out with Sea Life time frame. I could be wrong about that. Uh, might have been sure thing before that, but it was one of those. And has a zipper, so it's just a functional little tote. And in there, I have a mask all folded up inside. So perfect place on the outside just to be able to grab it quickly and this also I thought the colors kind of match kind of nicely with the blues and teals so peacocks and turtles maybe not so much but the colors are good and the materials also it's like a slicky nylon slicky nylon so we do have a cargo pocket on the side so I was just going to kind of let that sit kind of in the cargo pocket but I do also have my chuggy handy that matches so this is the 16 ounce chuggy from Lug and you can see on here what the peacocks actually look like and then this is Peacock Multi, so the Multi you have the more purples. So thanks again to the ladies who pointed out to me that this was Peacock Emerald and not Peacock Multi, but there is your big difference right there. So it's very similar anyways. Okay, the opposite side, I have a second bag charm. This is the Itty Bitty Backpack from Vera Bradley. This is a cotton backpack, and the front is just a faux pocket, but there's a zipper around it, and it has little straps on the back. It's super cute. But in here, I just have a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works, like the pocket back size. This one is Just Chillin' Sparkling Icicles. It was a holiday one, but anyway. So zip it in there, and then this one has the same kind of clip with the swivel. And the colors on this, this is the interior to Moonlight Garden. So the blues and teals, I thought, matched really well. And it does have a little firefly on there, too. But anyway, so there you go. And I put them on opposite ends. The bag itself has the foam pocket, which has my iPhone 6S Plus, and then it has on the front side, there's a vertical pocket right here, and in here I have two sets of keys. Um, I have this set that's on the Moonlight Garden in the Loop keychain from Vera Bradley, so there's the interior that you just saw with the backpack, um, and the exterior is more floral. Um, but I have a carabiner on here where I have my mail keys for my mail and for my P.O. box at the post office. And then I have my shopping tag bag charm so I can reach in and grab that pretty easily. And then on the bungee that's in here, I have attached um, another little carabiner, but it has my house keys, my medic alert, and my truck key. That's a big old thing, but I have keyless entry. So because I don't have to pull those out so much, I just leave those bungeed in. And then this one is on the quick but they fit in that pocket because that pocket's like this big it's quite nice all right so tuck my little extras into the side pockets when not in use i think they'll kind of pop in and out but they'll be all right and then on the back of the bag there is another pocket and in this pocket we have my erin condren um as my pocket calendar or whatever and I put these tabs on it for the months and then I have a little notebook just a little notebook it's blank pages inside but you always need a little paper so it kind of has like blues and teals but it's a very silvery metallic I've got two pens in the pen slots and then in here I have my business card case in the big slip there and then in front of it there's three more card slots I have my Swiss Army card and my squeezy flashlight card in those right there so they fit very nicely and then this can just be right in the front of the pocket and if I put them side by side this one does fit vertically so ta-da 
close it up. Inside the bag, nice big zipper, and inside it is nicely packed. It looks pretty busy in this angle just because of the colors, the patterns. Um, but it is kind of full, honestly. I, yeah, I should really thin it out, but for now, this is what's in it. I have in the cargo, there's two cargo slots on the back. I have a Vera Bradley reader's case, actually, but inside is a pair of sunglasses that's also Vera Bradley, and they fit in there pretty well. So these are the Lilac Tapestry sunglasses. And let's see if it'll close straight away. Yeah, so it closes up nicely in there. And then also in that same pocket, I have a zip ID in the Kerala Elephants. And in here, besides the tissue that's on the front of it, I can take that out so you can see the colors. So I just have these little nail sample packs from my sister for Color Street, so I can give those out to people. But it was a perfect little storage case because the colors on the Kerala Elephants match really nicely with the pink. It's like a perfect color match. Look at that. Um, except it has the pink on the elephant thing. And then on the other side, it has the flowers and the interior as well. So that side, not quite as perfect as the main pattern. But um, So I had those two items in one slip pocket. I guess I'll just leave it out. And then the other slip pocket, I have two items as well. I have a my headphones and then my manicure kit from Vera. And I'm going to change the, to the other one to the Fruit Grove, I think, because it's a better match. But same stuff inside. Um, then I have my handspring wallet in Peacock Multi. And the difference between the Multi and the Emerald is you see the purples in the Multi. And there is, it is like a blue around this Peacock Feather versus the purple on this one. I like the Multi better, honestly, but I think the Emerald is still very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, also inside I have a roundabout. And not the roundabout too, so it does have like that top anchored wristlet strap. We'll go over what's inside of here in a moment. But then the only thing left, I have these other two pockets. This is my clear view side. It's one zipper, two pockets. And in here I have, on the one side I have a meal replacement bar, like a keto bar. And then I have um, my lanyard for Corella elephants. But on the lanyard is this little pocket toddy. And so shout out to fellow YouTuber, the gold project because she showed this on her one of her recent videos and I went and found one on Amazon and I really really like it it's just like a screen wipe or sunglasses wipe it's a little microfiber thing but it folds up into its own little pouch so you can just roll it out and then turn the pocket inside out so you have the full wipe so it's it's really soft um, on this side and then it's the microfiber on the other side you can see the pocket um, this is like, it reminds me of Yellowstone, you know, the volcanic pools, and you have like the geo layers, and then you have the crusty top around it, and there's still water, you know. Anyways, I, that's what it reminds me of. Then you fold it in half, and then you just fold it down, fold the pocket into itself, not necessarily in that order, and then you just fold that back down into the pocket, or you can just stuff it in whatever way that you want, but... But so it's a little thing and it has a little elastic on it so I put the elastic on the lanyard so that when I reach into that bag I can find that plus I just wanted to use the lanyard <laughs> it's because it's the Corral Elephants and it matched so I put that in the slip pocket over here so I'm going to put that back oh I'm sorry in the uh, clear view is where it was and the other side of the clear view just has masks so it has filters and masks. I have the Wildflower Black and then I have Butterfly Flutter from Vera Bradley. So those are in that side. And these go back in the slips. The cargo pockets, got sunglasses and nail polish. <laughs> you know, important stuff. Um, I'll zip my clear view. And I can put my wallet back in here. So that's what's in there. Now, what's inside my roundabout, I decided to use this, and it's pretty pretty bulked, but it's not super duper full, but um, this is where I put like my catch-all pouch for all of the, the other little things in my bag. There are, there's a front pocket on here that's soft-lined. I did not use that pocket, but inside this section is kind of my tech stuff. So I have two external batteries from Vera Bradley, these white ones, and then I have my charging cord. 
Um, I don't have the plug in here. I actually had it somewhere else, so I gotta grab it. But, but so that's in here, and that just zips closed. Because I'm not using that as a wallet or anything like normally you might use this for. But the back section is the bigger part of the bag, so you have a little more to it. And in here is my catch-all everything, like no kidding. I have gum and mints, that's kind of a flat Mentos. I've got some lotion. I've got some toothpick dental floss things. I've got three little breath strips from Listerine, you know, three different flavors of them. I've got my Minnie Mouse lip gloss and I've got some glucose tabs. And then I have a comb and two hair bands. And on this other side, you have this side part here. I have two hand sanitizer sprays from Bath and Body Works in little glass bottles from Amazon. And then I have my EOS chapstick lip balm stuff. So that's all in this front pocket. And on the other side, there's a mesh pouch with a zipper and that just has these antimicrobial wipes, the wet one. And I have several of them in there in their little pouches. So that way they're not gonna get poked by anything or anything like that. Let's see if I can put this all back in and keep it closable itself. It's a pretty full little pocket, but it all does fit in there actually pretty nicely. So just close that up again, and that's my catch-all pouch. I don't like this top mount. It definitely needs to be on the side like the roundabout too. Um, but anyways, I took off the strap that, and I'm not using the slip pocket on the outside either. But that fits very nicely right inside middle of my bag here. And I actually put it laying down on horizontally, even though it could stand up vertically as well, but I just thought that's more easier. And that is what's in my bag. Um, like I said, I could put the, the chuggy on the side, so I have that option. Um, I also have a snack tower as an option. So these are from Go Stack, G-O-S-T-A-K, you can see it right here on the top. And I have actually two sets of them. I have the teal and I have a purple set. So you can mix and match them. These are customizable. So you can take the handle off, each of these opens, you know, twist off, or you can twist them apart. And so you can have your little individual pieces. Um, and like I said, I just mixed and matched so I get my purple and teal together because that's my peacock colors, actually. It goes better with this, but <laughs> anyway, so I did that. So I have sunflower seeds, it's like one serving, and then I have a serving of almonds, and I have more than a serving, but I have some keto trail mix. So if I'm out and about and I get hungry, I can stick to my diet and be smart. So I could put it either outside or, because um, I'm paranoid about falling and breaking on the ground or something, I probably could just lay it right on the top on the inside. But I'll probably move that around more than once. So let's look at the bag on. It is, like I said, it's fairly full. It's not terribly heavy, but it's just kind of bulked. But that's okay, it's designed for that, and it fits very comfortably on my shoulder. And with the no-slip grip on the top, it keeps those straps from just falling off. Um, so even without my hand up there, it stays on really well. But then I also have the crossbody strap, which I have set out pretty long. Oops, that's not clipped on there, right? And it clipped on the loop, okay. So we put this on and it's actually set very low on my hip right now. And I like my bags low, but this is extra low. So let me, of course I need to adjust this on the back. Oh look, I have a peacock right on the strap right there. <laughs> Cute little guy. All right, let's see if that's better. Yeah, okay. I like it pretty low on my hip. So actually I'm gonna leave it right there. I can reach my hand sanitizer and that's it. So that is what's in my bag in the Lug Scuttle in Peacock Emerald. I hope you had a great weekend and I wish you the very best for the coming week. Take care, stay happy, stay safe, and washy washy. Bye for now.